I'm Megan and welcome to my channel. So today I have a review of the brand new Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. I'm going to be wearing this foundation for as long as I possibly can and I will come back throughout the day and give you all checkups. Um, I'm just going to go out and about. I think we're going to go shopping, maybe get something to eat. So I'm going to be out and it's a kind of warm day so I might do a little sweating so we'll put it to the test today for sure. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out and prime my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil found, or Primer. And I'm going to put that all over my face, although it does say that you do not have to use a primer, but then it kind of contradicts itself and says that it works best with the Mineral Bell Primer. So I, since I do have this, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face and then go in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer in my T-zone area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just got a couple pumps. Looks like this. And I do really like this primer. I've not used it in a while. I'm kind of stuck on my regular primers, but we'll see if it works better with it. And then I'll probably test it out again tomorrow with my everyday primers and we'll see which one works best. And I would never not put a foundation primer on. So even though it says that you don't have to use a foundation primer, um, I still would. So that's why I'm not going to be testing it without a primer. So I've got that on now. I'm just going to go in with the new Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this is similar to the older one. Um, and I do really like it a lot. So like I said, I'm just going to put that in my T-zone area. In. I'm going to go ahead and go on Sephora's website and give you the ins and out on this foundation, the claims on it, and all that good stuff. So, it is a pricey foundation. It is $56, and I picked it up in nude and warm beige. Nude is described as light, medium with neutral undertones, and then warm beige is described as medium with neutral undertones. So, I think I'll be going in with nude today just because I'm a little uh, more fair. Um, so let's see what it says. It is a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump. No primer needed. <laughs> I, I don't think we'll be able to do this whole face with half a pump, but we'll see. And I'm going to go in on this side of my face with the brush and then this side of my face with the beauty blender. And it is full coverage, a natural finish, it's a liquid, and it is for normal combination and oily. So they did leave out dry. But I feel like if you added, you know, some uh, beauty oil or facial oil, primer oil, anything like that, I think it could work for you. And it is a highly concentrated formula, provides full coverage with minimal product. It applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and flawless complexion, light reflecting microspheres, blur, and create a soft focus finish. The non comedogenic formula is waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. So we're going to put all that to the test today. I am going out and about. Um, we're going to the mall. And we're just going to go out and have a fun day today. So let's go ahead and get this on the face. And then I'll come back and show you what all my makeup looks like. And I will be doing some check-ins throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the packaging again. I just hauled this a couple videos ago. And I've not tried, I've not shade matched or nothing, so <laughs> I hope it matches. I have heard that it does oxidize a little bit, so nude should work just fine for me. So, I just have it on this, so there is what nude looks like. And I will put a pump of warm beige beside of it just so you all can see the difference. So, here is warm beige and here is nude. So, it is a little darker. So, like I said, I'm just going to go in on this side of my face with the brush. 
And the brush I have today is the Morphe E31. Oh, Lord. That's a little... Oh, wow. Okay. That is a lot of product. Okay, so right off the bat, it's definitely full coverage. And um, this nude is like way too dark for me I feel like or it's like this does not look like a neutral undertone to me Woo. Okay, so very, very, very full coverage. I feel like I need to definitely go over it with the sponge. Um, I do not like it with the brush. I don't... Ugh, it does not look good on my skin right now. Let's just go over it with the sponge and pick up any excess product. Because I do not like that at all. Okay, so that looks a little better. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product and go in on this side. Do you see that? That does not... I don't know about this. I really had high hopes for this. I do like the stick foundation. So, I definitely like the sponge side better than I do the brush side. Um, the brush just gives me too much coverage, I think. It just looked way cakey. So, the sponge kind of blends everything out, makes it look seamless, and just gives you that more airbrushed look. Um, so... Here's what it's looking like so far. I'm going to go ahead and put some down my neck. Alright guys, so I'm going to zoom you in and then I'm going to go ahead, finish up my makeup, come back, show you the complete look, give you my thoughts, and then like I said, I'll come back throughout the day and give you checkups. So, let's see. So, this is what it's looking like so far. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Alright. So, that's what we're working with. I'm going to go do my makeup, and I will be right back. Alright, guys. So, I am back. I've got my all my makeup on. Everything went on beautifully. I did not have any issues. It kind of threw me off at the beginning when I first started applying it because the color was so off. But I was able to correct it with concealer. So, I would suggest whatever color you are in the Vanish Stick Foundation, I would definitely you know get a shade a little lighter just because it was a lot darker and the undertone was a little off i felt it was a little yellow um but other than that i think it all kind of come came together um i'm just gonna put it to the test now so right now so far so good i think it looks really nice um it's not won me over yet it's not one of my favorites right off the bat but you know that could all change so, like I said earlier, we're going to go out and about, go get something to eat, do a little shopping, and I will take you all along with me. So, we'll be doing checkups, and I will check back in with you guys here in the next little bit. Alright, see you soon. Alright guys, so I forgot to give you all a close-up look. So, I'm going to zoom you in and let you all see what she's looking like. And I am using natural light today, so this should be the true test. So, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look cakey, patchy, anything like that. So, yeah, there's that. I will see you all soon. 
Alright guys, so this is my first check-in. I've had the foundation on for about an hour and a half now. I think everything's hold it up, holding up pretty well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and let you all see what it's looking like so far. I don't think there's any caking. It's not breaking up yet. Um, I think it's looking really good so far. So I will check back in with you here in the next couple of hours and give you my second update. All right, see you soon. All right guys, so I'm back with my second checkup and it's been about four and a half, five hours since I first applied the foundation. I just checked it in the mirror and you guys, this foundation is holding up extremely well. I mean, my face just looks so airbrushed and good. My pores are not exaggerated. There's no breaking up. There's no caking. It just looks awesome. So I'm going to zoom you all in and let you look for yourself. So I know the lighting's bad, I'm sorry guys, but anyhow, it looks really, really good and I will check back in with you guys once we get back home. Alright guys, so I am back with my fourth and final check-in and I have to say I do like this foundation, however, I have started noticing that around my nose area it's starting to break apart and as well as around my mouth and I'm not sure why. Maybe I just need to go in with a little extra product next time and I will be testing that out. But overall, I definitely feel like this is an awesome foundation. Everywhere else on my face, my blush, bronzer, highlight, everything else is still intact. There's no breaking apart anywhere else except in those two areas. So I'm going to zoom you in and let you all see what we're looking like here. And my problem areas are normally in between my eyes and my chin and nose area. So I have to say in between my eyes looks really, really good. And I'm just really impressed with it. Cause to begin with, I was not too sure about it. I didn't think I would like it. I felt like it was a little too heavy. But overall, I do love this foundation. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And hit that little notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!